Hey, this is Tanya, and today I am going to show you a few tips in iMovie because my friend Yayoi asked me some questions, and since she lives in another state, I just thought I'd um, take it one question at a time to help her get up to speed with iMovie. This is iMovie 08. I don't have iMovie 09, so um, I don't know how relevant it is to if you if you guys have got the current version. All right, so let's start down here at the events library. The events library is very similar to i iPhoto in that it records your video and organizes your video. It organizes your video according to date and time. Now I'm going to take the slider over here to let you see that these are two separate clips. And actually for the uh, purpose of this video I've actually turned the volume off so you can only hear me and not hear the clip. Now that yellow thing right there is what you can use to scroll through an area of the video and say let's say you just want that bit that yellow bit and you can make it bigger like maybe as you watch in the viewing screen up in the upper right I had it originally here but if I just do that I think it, it's, a ni it's a nicer place to stop anyway so that little yellow box indicates how much is in that clip and I'm going to drag it up to my clips bin if you go back down here, you'll notice there's a little orange line. That indicates that that much footage is right up here in the clips bin. Okay. Then we're going to take this little bit of footage. This is my friend Jeffy who made some really delicious grilled cheese sandwiches. And we're going to put that up in the clips bin. And I'm actually going to do a couple more clips. And you know what? Look how small that is. I'm trying to edit with a very small space. You can actually take the slider and create a film strip so that's easier for you to see what, what you're editing from. So maybe I'll take that clip and maybe one more. This last bit of here, Diva Danielle. Yeah, I don't need that little bit there. There's nothing in that shot. See how I'm scrubbing back and forth in the timeline? See how it ends right over there? And I'm like, eh, don't need that. So I'm going to cut right to where I turn away from Diva Danielle. Look at her rocking out. She's having a good time. And I'll put that up in the in the clips bin. Now, if I take the slider all the way to the top of the timeline, right here, this little red line, and I press the space bar, it'll start going uh, through the entire timeline, and you'll get a feel of how the flow of your little video is going. Okay, and then it's going to transition to that bit with Jefferson. <laughs> and there's more grilled cheese sandwiches and then me sampling one of his delicious grilled cheese sandwiches and then cut back to Diva. Now when in looking in that um, I can't hear the volume so I can't tell the audio portion of this but just in looking at it visually I would think that this clip right here was a little too long so what I'd want to do is maybe shorten that a little to right around here where she's having so much fun that <laughs> Danielle wants to kill me right now sorry girlfriend alright so I'm gonna trim that just that section right there in the yellow box and how I'm gonna do that is gonna hit edit and I'm gonna trim to selection what that means it's gonna cut off that the extra bit that's not highlighted in yellow there we go so now Let's make this timeline a little bit thicker so that we can see your pieces. I took that slider and made the film clips and just film strips. When you're done and you've got the movie kind of way you want it, you're going to need to add transitions, and that'll be in the next segment. Thanks for watching.